For many years, I tried to figure out the relationship between music and nature. And the reason is because I would come back from the mountains or from a trip out into nature and be just filled with the, uh, the essence of, of nature. And I could feel it in the music. But I, I still tried to figure out the dynamic between the inspiration that was happening and the actual expression, the manifestation of it through the music. And for years and years I, I went through this process of uh, saying, how did this get here? How did nature get in, into my music? It was so obvious and yet so inexplicable. And finally, I, I just came to the conclusion that there isn't a separation, there isn't a difference between nature outside and nature inside, that, that uh, humankind really is part of nature. And so being so totally immersed and really at one with, uh, with nature has, has been placed into the music, the expression of it. There's a way in which music can help with the transformational process. One of the things that I feel that uh, we are here to do is to actually bring light into the, all the shadows of our, of our psyche, of our consciousness. It's embracing the unembraceable, it's loving the unlovable, and allowing the unallowable that's in us. And at one point I thought that releasing meant bringing something forward that we weren't happy with and then just letting, letting it go out of our system. But I'm recognizing now that it's not that at all. It's, it's actually totally embracing all the, those aspects of self that we have created and manifested uh, in all of our lifetimes and all of our experiences just embracing it, you know, the shadow and the, and the light. And the music helps with that, with bringing that forward. It's a, it's a high energy and because of that, that high vibration, it, it pushes all the shadows forward. And I think if we can keep in mind that we're not ridding ourselves of our past, of the things that we don't necessarily like about ourselves, but we're embracing it, then we're doing ourselves a favor. Two of the themes that have continuously reoccurred in the music is the love for nature and the love for the cosmos. And it's the the feeling of the oneness of our, our steppings on, on the earth plane and also the oneness with our stellar heritage, our, our star roots, so to speak, our star tribe uh, lineage. And this continuously comes up uh, through the music. You can feel it. You can feel nature. You can feel the, the cosmic and the stellar relationships. During a meditation, I saw myself as a gatekeeper to this portal of light uh, into a different dimension, different realm, 
and I was not only the the gatekeeper, the the being standing at the entrance to that portal, but it was actually the portal itself. And I could feel the streaming of energy coming from that other dimension in, into this this dimension. And my feeling is that so many of us are gatekeepers, that we are a doorway to those other realms, and that's what we're here for. Music is the primal force of the cosmos. We have a certain vibration that we can hear, but music goes way beyond all of that. Music and sound are, are vibrations that we're bathed in, we're couched in. It's our, it's our mother, so to speak. Music amplifies the physical, the emotional, the mental, spiritual, and the subtle bodies beyond, the light body beyond that. It amplifies all these bodies and brings to the front those unhealed aspects so that we can acknowledge, so that we can embrace, so that we can balance those pieces of ourselves. Within the music there are codes, light codes, there is information about our history. Music is a force of amplification. Just like all energy, which is neutral, it comes in and pushes forth the, the bright and the dark, the shadow and the sublime allowing the influx of, of higher frequencies of light and knowledge and, and knowing to come through. We're all travelers. We're all here to bring our specific frequency of light and joy and knowing into this plane for the birthing of the new. And what is the new? <laughs> the new is unknowable. It's, it's what we're creating right now. is all new.